In this video, we are discussing filtering pattern overview. From the very name filtering, it is quite obvious that this particular pattern will be required to select some set of records depending upon some filtering criteria. And that's why the name has got given as filtering pattern overview. So let us go for some more discussion on this topic. So what is filtering pattern? So at the as the name suggests, this type of pattern is used to filter records based on some conditions or criteria. So using different conditions, it checks whether a record should stay or it should be dismissed. This pattern is used to find a subset from a huge data set with certain conditions. So we are, we are going to have our huge data set in our big data and depending upon the given condition or criteria, we are supposed to decide whether a record should stay or should get dismissed. So actually it is calculating or it is accumulating some subset of our given records. So as an example, if we want all records related to the user ID, let it be X, Y, Z, then we have to use the filtering pattern to do that one. So using this particular pattern, we can do the filtering on our data set. So what is filtering pattern? So the filtering pattern structure is very simple. So map key value. So map is the, this is having the key value pair. So this is the key and this is the respective value. So if we want to keep that record, return the key value of it. That means it will return the key value of the respective record. So you can find here, we are having the input splits. So here the input will be a big one, huge amount of data sets and records will be there. So input splits will be obtained and then they will be assigned to the filter mapper. So here we are having the mapper tasks. So this input splits will be will be taken as input by this uh, filter mapper and then the output splits will be obtained. And that is a basic organization of this filter filtering design pattern. In this section, we will see mainly four types of filtering pattern. So they are simple random sampling. Next, we shall go for bloom filtering, top 10 and distinct. But we will see one sample and very simple filtering pattern example before going for this all detailing about these four different categories. So let us go for the next videos for the implementation of this simple filtering pattern. Thanks for watching this video.